Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I started doing a calibration on this thing. I've already done a little bit of it because um, I got a bit ahead of myself and got carried away and stopped, forgot to record. So I'm now recording. I've got the oscilloscope set up um, to measure the output. I'm not I don't have any loading on it, I'm just uh, calibrating frequencies right now. Um, the service manual doesn't mention about putting a load on the output during these stages, so I've not done the loading. Uh, okay, so what I've got to do now is actually calibrate the frequencies. So I'm in the range 3, which is 1 to 10 kilohertz. I've got a set of 10 kilohertz on the dial. Alright, so I should have that basically set exactly on 10. And I need to calibrate for the voltage and the um, levels. If I can what I did with my screwdriver, here we go. So I've got to do RV1 and RV6 for 10 kilohertz and 2.5 volts RMS. Well, RV6 and RV1 are where? I can't see them. RV1 and RV6 is 2.1s. I'm not sure which one's which as far as what they do, so we'll find out. So that is adjusting frequency, I think. Yeah. So that frequency there is changing, so that's doing frequencies. I don't want to do that. I want to get exactly 10 point or exactly 10 kilohertz there. So I wind this out to get exactly 10 kilohertz. And that's fully in, interestingly. So it's just the other one. It's also going down. Okay. So if I do set those in the middle and start from the middle position, it's going to be about there. About there. We'll start from the middle position, which is what Sony does say to do, but I thought, well, it's going to be fairly close anyway. So there we go. So it's actually adjusted level as well. So it's just um, try and tweak these to get the right level with the right frequency. And just doing that's actually pretty close. Just trying to determine exactly how they work. So I put them both to centre again. So I've got around 10 kilohertz, it's fluctuating very slightly, and around 2.5 volts RMS. So that is as per the calibration should be. Now it does say about checking other stuff too, let's have a look at those. So I've got a range 4, and check it's within calibration, and if not, notice what the error is. Okay, range 4, that is really close to right. Um, that's very close. It's slightly low in frequency and in level. So let's see what the next part of the page says. Okay, so let's set these two capacitors here. I've already been playing around with this, they're completely out of whack right now. So I'm going to try and get it back to where it should be. Um, yeah, try and get it back to where it should be. So I'm supposed to get 98.5 kilos, I think it is said. 98.5 here's a typo, it says 98.5 hertz, I think it's supposed to be kilohertz um, so. so we'll get a frequency with that voltage as well 2.5 volts which you can't see because the camera's going to be a bit weak on it so in this case it's going between these two adjustments and trying to get both correct. There's like an interrelationship between the two. So we are getting close.
Strange doesn't want you to do 1 kilohertz, or 100 kilohertz rather. Even though I set the 100 kilohertz position, it seems a bit strange it doesn't actually want that. We get a more stable reading like that or not? Probably not. But that's pretty close right there. Yeah, that's pretty much right. Two and a half volts, 98.5 there. So now I need to go to 10 on the dial. And adjust IV3 and IV5 to get 1 kilohertz, oh, sorry, 1 megahertz at 2.5 volts. So that's these two dials here. Now I need to make these kind of centered. Powerly. And start from there. I might have to go back and revisit the other one as well. adjusting levels. Kind of both are really. So there's pretty much one megahertz there. I really want to be fussy I'll put my focus account on instead of using the scope but the scope should be close enough really for this. Just about right. One megahertz and around two and a half volts. All right, so let's go back to chip one again. And that's still not bad. It's changed slightly, so I'm just going to tweak this a little bit and see if I can get it right. That's pretty much there. Okay, let's do 10 again. Yep, that's good enough. Levels change a fraction, but good enough. So that's excellent. Now, let's just check these other things out. The other ranges. See uh, if the levels are looking right or not. Yeah. Oh good, they all look like they're all matching up together, so I'm happy with that. Let's check the other end again. The calibration process on this is really not as good as it perhaps should be. So 10 hertz, 2.4 volts it's got there. Slightly low, but yeah, probably don't matter much. 100 hertz, slightly low as well, 0.1 volt, not a big deal. Same there, same there. So the lower ends are all slightly low. That's okay, I can live with that. Right, I think I'll call that a win. It's calibrated, the output works. Um, I should recheck the square wave though on that range there. It's supposed to be 5 volt peak to peak. Yeah, it almost is. Let's come back over here and adjust these ones because those are what they're for. I think it was, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this one, RV9. 
There you go. That's sitting a bit now. Yeah, how do I? Oh, good. Uh, I suppose I'll check duty cycle too, shouldn't I? Duty cycle. That's saying 50.1%. So that's pretty damn close. Let's see if I can improve it anymore. I'll probably ruin it completely by touching it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's probably pretty much there actually. Yeah, even just, just leaning on it is changing it slightly. No, we've gone too far. And too far. Right, right there, 50.07 of it, 0 to 0.1. So that's good. I'm happy with that. I think you can call that calibrated. Another win. So remember to watch out for more videos. Um, subscribe, that sort of stuff. Click the bell icon to make sure you get notifications about new videos. Otherwise you won't be told about them. Make sure you click the bell so it looks little lines around it so you can see it's going to ring. Okay, and um, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you're, you do subscribe now. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.